Happy New Year, y'all. I hope you had a blessed Christmas and were able to spend the time with those you love most. It's time to clean up your decorations and we decorate our house from stem to stern and out in our yards as well. So we have a lot to clean up. We also need to be sure to buy our Christmas paper, our wrapping paper for this coming Christmas that's going to be here um, as fast as, you know, this last one came around. Even though you're tired of the Christmas decor, um, you've got some major house cleaning to do, you also have Christmas clearance shopping to go do. So we went today to Hobby Lobby and Michaels and Kroger. Now our Kroger is a super Kroger. It's one of the biggest buildings in town. You know, it's probably second only in size to the Savannah Mall. So it's a big store. And we have different things at that store that a different variety, a lot of a lot more items. So maybe you might not have what I found at our Kroger. But hopefully you'll you'll find some good deals wherever it is you go. Now at Hobby Lobby, the Christmas merchandise remaining is 90% off. So excellent, excellent prices. <clears throat> Excuse me. These eight packs of Christmas ornaments are $14.99. So their clearance price was $1.50. I saw these in either November or October. I just love red glass, but I didn't want to get them because they were $9.99 plenty of red glass um, didn't need them especially they're ten dollars each basically they are on clearance for a dollar now so these are actually dessert bowls for ice cream or brownies or whatever but you could probably put them I just got two you could probably put them on either end of the buffet or if you do a centerpiece you have these on either end of the centerpiece so a dollar each and it's um, a lot of people do cemetery flowers, do Christmas flowers for their loved one's graves at this time of year. This is like a golden fern. It was $9.99. It's hard to grab. So it was a dollar because it's important to get good quality flowers for doing your floral arrangements, especially at the cemetery. And um, buy some for next year, for not next year, but this coming Christmas that's, you know, 11 months away so that they'll last. They're going to look good sitting out in the cemetery because most of us have, I'm sure all of us have loved ones that have passed away. And if you do the floral arrangements, get some good quality flowers so they look good and also so they'll last if you wrap them up, box them up, last and, and use it for a year or two. So that was a really good deal here, a dollar for that big bunch of um, floral. And let's see, the this is like the, it's a mesh garland. It's like tulle to me is what it reminds me of. So I have a white Christmas tree and I was either going to put it under that or um, put it in a wreath. I don't know yet, but it was $7.99 so it was 80 cents. These are the gift card holders. There are three in the package for $3.99 so the clearance price, excuse me, $2.99 so the clearance price was 30 cents. These are gift tags. They're adhesive gift tags, $2.99 so they were 30 cents. This is trim for a package, uh, red, green, and gold. They're $3.99, so the clearance was $0.40. Cents. This is a type of ribbon that I use when I make cross-stitch ornaments. This is the hanger. This is what I prefer to use as the hanger. It's um, $2.99, so they were $0.30. Cents. 25 count of Christmas envelopes, just plain envelopes. $3.99, so they were $0.40. Cents. We send a ton of Christmas cards in the quickest and most sanitary way of sealing a Christmas card, I think, is just to stick a sticker on the back. So these really pretty stickers are $1.99, just a variety of types, so they were $0.20 cents a package. They still had fall stuff at our store, also 90% off, so these fall pumpkins, these stickers are $0.20 cents a package. The Paper Studio brand of merchandise is 50% off, so it's a, a long aisle or two of um, scrapbooking materials. So that's what this is, even though it looks like it's a Christmas item, it's a Paper Studio scrapbooking item. $3.99, so it was half price, so it was $2. These gift bags look like lunch bags to me, so it says Merry Christmas. It's a dozen 
for $2.99, so it was $0.30. Cents. And then this ceramic plate, or maybe resin, I don't know, it was, um, it's $9.99, so it's really small. You can see how small it is. So it was a dollar, because it's good to sit on an easel or in a plate rack on a plate stand. It's a dollar. So there weren't very many of the single ornaments left. And you know Hobby Lobby has aisles and aisles of single ornaments. This one was $4.99, so it was $0.50. Cents. Now, the, oh here, I forgot about this. My Little Christmas is a brand of little tiny Christmas trees. They're probably about that big, and they have the smallest ornaments to go on them. This is a tree topper for that line of Christmas trees. $2.99, so its sale price was $0.30. Cents. The wrapping paper, here we go. This is cellophane clear basket wrap with different designs on them. And if you do gift baskets or cookie baskets, or if you fix up Home and Terrace candles as gifts or Bath and Body products as gifts, this works very well. Just add a ribbon. $4.99, so the clearance price was $0.50. Cents. And then this big roll of wrapping paper, it's um, 60 square feet for $8.99. You can see how much is on there. This was $0.90. Cents. And they also had this green and white striped variety. That was everything I got at Hobby Lobby. Yeah, I don't see anything else. I paid $25.68 for everything. And the retail value was over $238. So tremendous, tremendous savings and 89% savings on the Hobby Lobby merchandise. Now at Michael's, their, um, their Christmas merchandise was kind of measly in my opinion because the majority of their products, um, they just had a lot of reads. And the reads were really expensive to start with, $50, $60, $70 dollar reads that you can make yourself. And so I don't want to spend that much whenever I can just make the things myself. So that's the majority of what they had left over. So we just got the little, um, these taper candles. It's a set of six. They were $7. So their final price was $2.10 because my daughter has a brass candle holder. You know, you picture yourself in a little house on the prairie nightgown and cap and walk around with your brass candle holder and your taper candle stuck in there. That's what this is for. Um, the little villages, Christmas villages that you set up, this is a little cow to go in the village. It's $5, so its clearance price was um, $1.50. And then these little sheep ornaments, funny looking little sheep. These are $10, I don't understand why, but their clearance price was $3. So for everything at Michael's, I paid $9.60 for these four items. Like I said, just measly. I, didn't prefer their selection at all, but my daughters found things they liked. Um, so I saved $22.40 or 70%. Now at Kroger, I was going there straight to the back of the store, buy milk and chocolate milk for my son, and a huge rack of Lindor truffles. This Lindt chocolate is a favorite at our house. 70% off all of the Christmas candy at our Super Kroger. They had Ghirardelli and these Lint balls that were probably that big around. And I don't think I, I don't, oh, a bunch of candy canes, Jolly Rancher candy canes. So the, my favorite Lindor candy and 70% off, wonderful, wonderful price. They're $6.99 a box, so they were on clearance for $2.10. So, yeah, I bought a lot, but I left a lot, too, because there were so many um, items left at that store. The Christmas section, the, well, the seasonal section, because they change it out for whatever the season is, is at the back of the store. There are a good many items left and varieties um, of prices seven, from 70 to 90% off. The candy is 70% off. Most everything else I saw was 90% off, including, let's see, yeah, the Holiday Home gift wrap. This is a foil type of gift wrap, so there's not as much on the wrapping, on the tube. 12 square feet for $2.99. And then this is the regular paper. It's 50 square feet, also $2.99. So those are 30 cents a roll. This was another type of Lindor candy that they had. These are $7.99. 
and it was on clearance for $240. It's fixed up in a little cute little box with a nice ribbon on top. And we've had a relative, an immediate relative, in hospital since the middle of December. So that's just going to be a little pick you up type of something to take to them. Um, and it's pretty, and I love that chocolate. It's a great gift. Now, the different varieties of non-alcoholic drinks were also on sale. This is the time of year that we always buy the Welch's Sparkling Grape Juice, but I didn't see any because I was just in a hurry. My daughter got a parakeet today, and we were trying to get him home, so I was just hurrying through Kroger. These nuts and, um, this is cherry, yeah. Cherry juice is $2.50, and they were on clearance for $1.29. So everything I bought at Kroger, including 20 boxes of chocolate truffles, was $54.96. It had a retail value of $179, and so I saved $124.20, which is a 69% savings. Ordinarily, I wouldn't buy so much chocolate, but when it's on clearance and because it's that brand, I did. So $41. $42 actually for all of that chocolate and that's a lot but it's, it's my favorite so I made an exception. Now for everything here on my table um, I paid $90.24. This merchandise has a retail value of $449.94 and there's no way in this world that I would even think of spending anywhere near that. Um, I saved $359.70, which is an 80% savings. Now, I haven't gone to CVS or Walgreens or Walmart to see what their percentages are on their Christmas deals, but I know it's going to be, it really should be good. And hopefully you'll find a good bit whenever you get there to find, um, you know, find what you need, find what you know you'll use, especially gift wrap. Yes, you're going to use gift wrap if you um, even you know, wrap five gifts at Christmas, you're going to use a roll of gift wrap. And it seems like all of our boxes get bigger and bigger each year, so just never can have too much gift wrap. And it doesn't have an expiration date, so did I buy too much? No, because it's not going to expire. There's plenty more at the store, and it's at the cheapest price it's going to be. So buy what you know you'll use and um, save a lot. So hopefully you'll find plenty whenever you get to your store. 90% off at Kroger, 90% off. Hobby Lobby 70 at Michael's if you have one of those in your town. Hope you have fun plenty on the shelves whenever you go shopping.